welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Felicia everybody calls me Flick today I have a little bit of a makeup haul um I say a little bit uh, I have a beauty bay and super drug haul um it was originally just beauty bay and then I went to town this morning after the school run and super drug had three for two on I yeah so we included that too so yeah we have uh, we have a makeup haul and then i decided to, yeah makeup haul and then use the products that i bought why not so yeah if you want to see want to see what i bought for a start and then how i got this look then obviously keep on watching before that though if you haven't already then please do not forget to like and subscribe and also head over and go and like all of my social channels i would really appreciate it what I cannot understand though, my TikTok has blown up. I'm now on 8,000. If how, how can I get that many on all of those? But it's taking forever to grow my Instagram and my YouTube. How does that work? I don't get it. But regardless, please go and follow me on all of those as well. I love you all. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm gonna head over now and I will show you everything that I bought. Hi guys, welcome back. So we have a bit of a haul today we have some beauty bay some we, we have a beauty bay order but we also have some bits that i picked up in superdrug as well because i did go out of town this morning um i did the school run instead of john for a change and i decided to run down to town to get the bits that i had to get and while well, in superdrug they had three for two on the makeup which was deadly and um yeah i'll do a quick show of what i got um before we actually get into playing with it so, yeah um i have a brush because i'm really liking the beauty bear brushes i've got a blending brush i'm going to use that um but yeah so from super drug i picked up the i Heart revolution bronze and glow bronzer and highlight i've been after this for ages and i've never picked it up so i'm really glad i got it today actually i got the i heart revolution strawberry blusher i remember to pick up another blusher because i keep chatting myself for forgetting them and i picked up the revolution pro lipstick collection i picked up the matte nudes um thinking that these were minis they're not they're full size so these were full price at some pound. I've just found out actually though that they are on sale on Beauty Bay and also on the Revolution website. I think they're 4 85 on Beauty Bay and 5 60 on the Revolution website for five full five uh, full size lipsticks, but they're on three for two in Superdrug. So that's what, £14 for 15 lipsticks. Are you having a laugh? I uh, yes. Oh, and I also got um a microfiber face cloth free, so in my little cleansing basket that goes and then for beauty bay i picked up i picked up isoclean um because you know i'm like for testing brush cleaners um so i'm gonna clean my i'm not gonna do it tonight i'm gonna clean my brushes tomorrow a uh, real test will obviously be my foundation and my concealer brushes we'll see how that goes please i'm praying that i'm praying that it is as good as everyone says it is and that it does the job that i need it to um but i did pick up the beauty bay bronzer and highlighter i picked up the shades fawn and flash really looking forward to these these sort of sit in the beauty bay sale i picked up the revolution ambient palette the pink one i'll do my last video i tested out the eternal one which is the rose gold one and i got the revolution conceal and glow foundation i wanted this when they first brought it out but the shade range was crap the only one with my undertone was the lightest one now i'm pale but i ain't that pale uh, when I went on the website, they had this one, so I thought I would give it a go if I need to go up a couple of shades and tweak it, I may, but I'm hoping because I've lost obviously all my summer colour, this should work. So the only thing I didn't get new, I didn't get a new primer, uh, I have got a relatively new one that I've only used twice, um, which is actually a glowy one, which is the Lacura snapshot ready glow primer from Audi so I will probably use that with this because it is again a glowy one um I haven't got a new concealer or have I no have I got a new concealer no I nearly picked up the L'Oreal Infallible in Superdrug 
but I couldn't for the life of me work out what my shade would be. Again, I know I keep saying this and I keep bitching at brands, but you guys got to do better with your shade ranges. It, if Revolution can do it with all of their sub brands and list them on their website, so can you guys. It's not hard. Um, I will probably go in with my Revolution Infinite to be fair. That or I'll use my Poundland. Well, I might use my Poundland palette actually because I quite like that one. I don't know. We'll decide when I come to it. Um, obviously, I didn't pick up a new lip liner, so I'll use one of my other ones that I've got. I'll probably use my Makeup Obsession because that's a relatively new one and it is a nude. But yeah. Other than that, I think we're good to go. So I'll be back in a minute. I will insert swatches. I'm not going to physically do them now. I will film them after, but I'll insert them now and then we'll get into the look. Right, I'm back, brows are on, I'm primed for eyes, so I'm going in with this. So as I learnt after I filmed my last video, um, these do in fact have names, these shades. It's on the little plastic sheet that is inside of the thing that fell out before. So the top white shade, right, I'm going to hold it up here. So the top one is called Opal the white one, the one next to it is called Ambient, then Rare and Charm. The bottom row is Dove, Blushed, Dusk and Dazzle. Um, not gonna lie, the uh, glitter shade here is calling my name. Now I don't know what the hell I would do with it, but it's calling my name. Um, I'm liking the depth of the mattes in this I a lot more than I did in the other one, so that is a plus. Um, so yeah, first thing I'm going to do is go in with that darkest shade. Um, and I'm going to take that... Uh, what do I want to do a halo? I'm going to do a halo, I think. So I'm going to take that inner and outer... Do I take that through now I'm going to focus that on my inner and outer corner probably should use a bit we'll try this brush first I might change it but... okay that pigmentation is there and this isn't really that dense a brush either so I've just done this and I've just thought of a look that I wanted to do. I know it's only just popped into my head after I've already started this. But I'm not about to start wiping this off. But I could probably use this actually in that. Um, so, I don't know if you guys um, follow um Anshul, she's another youtuber that i follow uh she recently launched her podcast what would the auntie say she's so funny honestly she's just amazing at makeup and she's oh she cracks me up she's so funny but she did her review of the new huda palette the other day and the look that she did was so beautiful um and I was watching it and obviously the price of the Huda palette just makes me anxious and every time like I was watching uh, her video the other day and I was sitting with Aria, she was doing a little um, Crayola hand sewing kit. We were sitting here doing it on the bed, and I was watching the video. She's going, "Oh, you should buy that, mummy." And I was like, "No, not a chance." And she was like, "Why not?" I was like, "Cause this is expensive. That's why." 
and um pardon me need tea um i'm gonna take the shade below that one what's it called dusk i'm gonna wipe off that brush that i was using on my little brush cleaner thing um i'm just gonna go around the edge um but the look that she did was so pretty and you know when you just kind of look at it, I was like, oh, I'd really like to try and recreate that. And I was like, oh, I wonder if I've got, I'm pretty sure I've got those kind of tones in my collection. Not obviously in one palette, over a couple of palettes. But I really, kind of, I loved the look of it. I thought, oh, I'd really love to try and recreate it. Um... So I was, I put that down as a video idea. Uh, I'll link her video actually, because I really liked the look that she came up with. It's on her Instagram, she did an Instagram video for it as well. I'm gonna take the lighter shade, this one here, which is called Ambient. And I'm just gonna use that to blend out that other color on my new Beauty Bray blender brush. Oh, I like this brush. I needed a smaller um, blending brush. It's a blending brush, but it's kind of a, like a precise blending brush, if that makes sense. I know what I mean. Should go in with that other brown a second, just make sure I haven't lost it, you know. And then in with that darker. That is actually a really nice, like deep, plummy purple colour. I like that colour. See now every fibre of my being is saying go in with that glitter. Um I kind of want to swatch it, I do. Would it be bad? What about if I put one of the other colours down first and then put this over the top? Would that be bad? I don't feel like it would. What is it? Swatch. Oh, that is... <gasps> I'm sorry, um, I, I have to. Um, I stayed away from the glitter in the last one. I'm not staying away from this time. I can't. I have to. Um, is that a matte? might determine what shade to put underneath it beautiful rose gold beautiful more pinky tone i just want to swatch that one for the sake of it now even though it's a darker yeah that ain't gonna go this white shade i feel like is pressed too hard because i'm struggling to pick that up on my finger uh, i'm back um i just kind of had to like really dig my brush into that white shade to get it on I do think it's been pressed a bit too hard um because I was struggling to, to even to get any on my finger which was weird just gonna play over the edge not really too fast because I'm gonna obviously go with the glitter anyway um glitter glue I have got one somewhere where is it this is just a Primark one I'm just gonna dab this over the white I am using this glitter. This is stunning. Pink with blue and whatever reflex 
pretty. Well, they're like blue and green. It's like a very mermaidy kind of pigment, actually. Pigment glitter, even. I don't know if all of these palettes have um, a glitter in them, or if it's just select ones. I won't find out, obviously, until I open my other two on Christmas Day. Unless I buy more beforehand. Um, I'm going to just get more of that dark purple. I'm just trying to damp that. Absolutely beautiful glitter. I love that. I'm sorry, but that's just that that's calling my name. How could I not? Just realised I didn't flip my mirror, that would have been useful. Love. Love, love, love. I'm gonna go off, do the other eye. Uh I haven't obviously I haven't brought that right down to my lash line because I have got obviously allowed for liner and lashes. Um but I'm gonna go off, come back, and then we will do um the rest back in a minute right i'm back liner is on i haven't put lashes on because i don't like to do that before um i've done my base why was that so hard to say so primer i'm using my lacura snap snapshot ready illuminating one i like this i'm gonna go back to aldi and get the uh is it the photo focus i'm gonna go get the other ones um, they do like three or four of them. I will link it below. Um, it did have it on the website. I think sometimes you can't buy it individually, but it will say like check in store, but it will have the packs of two of them available. But I really like this. And I've still got some glitter on my face. Damn, I thought I'd put it all. And why am I using a finger to apply this? No, I, mm. Too late now. Oh well. I used my brush for the last bit. Oh, wow. Tell that I'm not 100% with it today, can't you? The Revolution Conceal and Glow. Now I really wanted to try this. I never normally eat one for a glowy foundation. I normally like matte, but I was intrigued by this. Um, and I really wanted to try it. Like I said, when it first came out, the only um, oh, it's not even oh, there's me trying to twist it. It's not a twisty. It's a pump one. Um, <laughs> and initially, the only shade with my undertone was the lightest one. And then I saw it went into the sale on Beauty Bay and I had to go on Revolution's website and double check because you know when you're just like, mm, that doesn't sound like 100% right. Um, it's reduced on the Revolution website as well. Let's go down. So there's 20 shades. So yeah, 0.3 for fairer skin tones with a yellow undertone. Now I'm pale, but I'm not that pale. Hold off a second. See, now on here, it's saying for fair skin tones with a pink undertone on the Revolution website. I'm going to be pissed. Bear with me. Conceal and glow, right. <laughs> See, now, on Beauty Bay, F2 says for fair skin tones with a yellow undertone. I've got it now, so we're gonna see. Now if this comes up and it's the wrong undertone, Beauty Bay, we're having words because you've got this listed wrong on your website. So I guess we are about to see. And this is videoed, so I can just send the link to this, can't I? Let's be real. Lord help me, oh man, I ain't wet my sp sponge either. I'll be back in a minute, I've got to wet my sponge. All right, I'm back, so let's pump this. Okay, very watery. I can't quite tell. 
hell? Oh, I guess we can just apply it and see, aren't we? See, now my other revolution foundation, my concealer and define, is in the shade F5. So that's like three shades darker than this. And that is um, also wrong undertones. That's golden undertones. But that is also more of my tan um, shade. I can kind of get away with that one a bit more when I'm tanned. Um, because my, um, wow, it's really pale. Wow. Wow, that, um, when I get in the sun, obviously I start tanning, like, my kind of olive skin tone starts to present itself a little bit more. It tends to hide away when the sun goes but as soon as the sun comes out it does start to show itself a little bit i'm not as blessed as my brothers were with the olive skin type and they well very lucky as soon as they go into the sun it's like they've been on holiday for two weeks i actually have to work for it a bit Okay, so I, first thing I'll just get the damn wipe. Foundation lips didn't do me any favours. Um, actual undertones wise, I feel like the colour is actually um like color match is okay it doesn't look doesn't look pink i i don't feel like it does anyway um if anything i just look pale seeing as i'm so pale i'm going to use my concealer in 2.5 which is actually half a shade darker than my foundation how hilarious Um, we'll see if uh, my foundation oxidises, but it's looking like um, Revolution have possibly mis um, mislisted this. It might not. Yeah, I don't know. They've listed it wrong on their site by the looks of it because this isn't looking like pink undertones. Um, you know, I have warm undertones, I have yellow undertones, and this definitely isn't looking like a pink undertone foundation, so. But I do rate this concealer as well, by the way. I like this concealer. It does dry down quick, so you don't leave it sitting for too long. I was going to use my Poundland cream palettes, but I, all honesty, and as lazy as it sounds, I just couldn't be bothered to get them out of the drawer. Also, if you can get to your nearest pound round or home bargains, I say I rate the concealer palette, but that um, colour correcting palette as well really good really really recommend that because they're not too um heavy they blend out so easy but they keep their um coverage they're not but they don't really they don't shear out they they do their job basically they don't just disappear they're really good highly highly recommend i'm gonna use my fenty cream blusher in number 11 Fenty Glow but I'm going to use it as a cream contour because it is a bit more cool toned oh, I'll play that actually no it isn't but I 
do this and then I'll do my Primark cream bronzer in a second. But I'm really liking doing these cream products down at the moment actually, rather than just going in with the powder. I feel like, I don't know, a bit like it kind of sets it a bit, I don't know, it's just like it's a bit more in place. Everything's a bit more secure, I guess. Oh, I don't know. I know what I mean, but I'm not 100% with it tonight for some reason. So, I'm gonna go in with my Primark. Should have dabbed that off on the back of my hand first. This is the Primark Bronze Whip. Bonjour. I wish they would come out with more shades of this because this one is very warm. So I've got the Beauty Bay Powder Bronzer in the shade, I get Fawn, yeah, Fawn. It's like that. It's cute, I like that. That shade. It's not in this colour, it's not too warm. Okay, and then I also went and got the Revolution Bronze and Glue. The outside looks like that. I love these. I really do. I know they're some people think they're tacky and they do actually smell like chocolate as well, which makes me even happier. Um and that. Yeah, look at that. So that's actually that little bit more cool toned. So actually I might use this to lightly contour with. Oh my god, it smells like chocolate. It smells so good. I might use that to lightly. I said lightly, damn it. I love the fact that it smells. Oh, wow, that glitter up close. I love the fact that it smells like chocolate. Okay, so even though I didn't pick up the, uh, what was it, the Roxy, the Roxysaurus, uh, contour palette, I didn't necessarily walk away, um, empty handed in the form of contour because I got this, which actually ended up being a better contour shade than a bronzer shade. So, win. And I'll say it again. It smells like chocolate. So, I'm going to take my Beauty Break bronzer in Fawn. And I'm going to lightly and tap off the excess. This was quite nice as well, actually. <laughs> Didn't get any setting powder. Um, I did contemplate picking up the what is it the iHeart Revolution banana powder. But I, I didn't grab it in the end. I think because I talked myself out of that th things about three different times. Because I had, so initially I wanted, I went in and I, well, okay, well, let's just, 
let's just buff that out. I didn't mean to do that. Um, it's fine. I can fix that in a second. Uh, yeah, I literally, I picked up the Patricia Bright Rich in Colour Palette, the Roxy Soros Contour Palette, and the Revolution Flamingo Blush Palette, which is the same size as this, and it's literally got flamingos on the front, and it's a three-shade blush palette. A bit like the uh, Patricia Bright Face Palette, except all blushes. And then I was going around, and I went to go look at the MUA Lip Liners, see if I had any other colours in that I wanted. Um, I'm taking my W7 banana powder and I'm literally just going to lightly set under my eyes um, and I'm also going to kind of just try and fix what happened under it because I went a little bit hand with that bronzer. Oh yeah, that's that. So yeah, so I, um, like I say, I was walking around the shop um, and I was looking at all the like I said, it went looking like the MUA pencils. I was just kind of like browsing and having a look. And then I was like, oh, actually, I like that. Um, I was like, oh, actually, maybe if I get that instead of that blush palette. And then, oh, actually, you know, do I really need the Patricia Bright palette and all this lot? And, yeah, I did the, the thing my mum um, kept, like, she drilled it into me when I was younger. It was, you know, do you really need it? Are you going to use it? If not, then put it back. Which is, I said to her earlier on the phone, I was like, you have ruined shopping for me. And I told her, and she was like, well, I do it to myself too. I was like, well, that, you know, didn't help me in this system because you weren't there when I was shopping. So, I so, Heart Revolution Strawberry, it's like three in one type blusher. So you've got the outer edge, obviously, which is matte, and then the inner portions, which are more shimmer. I am going to do my best to try and stay on the outside. Um, but I think that's going to be a bit difficult, but oh well. I mean, I do like a glowy blush, so I'm not really that bothered, but... I'm just taking this very lightly because I don't want to go ham just yet. I said lightly. Barely dipped my brush in. Very pretty though. Another thing is I like to like tap it in and then I'll kind of like buff it after. Oh, I am so going back for the other ones. There was a peach one, I want to say as well. There's there's more than nine, but my store only had like two of these. That is beautiful. Right, so then for the fun part, the really, really fun part. Um, if I can get it open, it's a highlighter, which we all know I'm addicted to. I love highlighter. <laughs> Beauty Bay highlighter in flash. I'm thinking I may use both. Um, I may use the other one. <gasps> I'm going to swatch the Revolution one next to it so you can see the colour difference. I may use both of these um oh my god it's blinding i'm going to buy the other one aren't i i think the other one's called beam i think so yeah i think i'm going to use i'll probably lay down the revolution one first and then the beauty way beauty bay one even on top to really really kind of make everything, everything pop a little bit more
is coming off as gold as it did in my swatch it is coming off a bit lighter and a bit more not silver just a lot of a lighter gold i guess not as light as the beauty bay one i just don't know now i'm gonna go in with the beauty bay one Barely touching. <laughs> um, like getting any product like on the brush, and when I am, I am making sure to tap off the excerpts. Beauty Bay, I love you. Um, I'll take them all, please. <laughs> I'm gonna be so broken. I heart revelation. I love you too. Right, back. Look, got my lipstick all five. So I'm gonna swatch them um, just on the back of my arm. So the first one we've got is naked, which looks like that. This is the matte nude collection, by the way. So it was seven. It was for seven pound for the set in Superdrug. Next one is raw. Well, this is as pale as the. No, it's not. I've got the matte liquid lip in raw, and that is nowhere near as pale. Uh, next one is real. So even swatching on the back of my arm, they are creamy considering they're mattes. Next one is True. That's a nice, quite a nice deep one. So let me just get a bit higher on my chair. So, let me just turn these upside down so I can actually see. So we have naked, top to bottom, we've got naked, raw, real, truth, and then protect. Naked, raw, real, protect, and truth. So with this look, I'm kind of thinking that maybe the bottom one might go quite nicely with it. I mean, any of them with their own nice nudes. Um, I actually really like them all, to be honest. I mean, that top one's not really my kind of tone. I like those two. Actually, I like them all. I'm not kidding. Um, I think I'm going to maybe try the bottom one. So, yeah, right. So, lining with Makeup Obsession. No, Makeup Academy. Not Makeup Obsession. Makeup Academy in Obsession, even. Um, I did go and look at more of these today, but um, uh, they didn't have any shades that I would have used. The two that I've got, I've got this one is so chic. The other one I probably would have used, I think, was called Diva. Is it maybe? I don't know. But I'm going to line with this. Okay, now I've done a terrible job of overlining my lips. What is new? And I'm going to go in with Protect, which is the darkest of them. Um, obviously, if I don't like it, I can just go in with a different one.
that is a nice colour. I don't know if I like it with this. Kind of reminds me of that MAC one that I used. It's pretty, I just don't know if I like it with this. Okay, let's try a different one. Let's try... Let's try Truth. Okay, I've gone the complete other way now. I have just made a mess of that. I like that better. I would definitely get more. I don't know if I'd get the um, non matte ones. I would double check what shades are. If they're the same shades, then there's no point. If they're different ones, then yeah. But um, I do like a matte lip. So. Um, I'm going to go off, put some lashes on, do one under eye, and then I'm back to do the other one. Right, so I have done under eye. I used the top pink, this shimmer shade from Wet in a Corner. I'm kind of tempted to put my Beauty Bay highlight on top of it. I need to do my brow bones, but I am going to use my Beauty Bay for that. I'm not 100% I might put the Beauty Bay on top of it. I don't know yet. But in the meantime, where's my brush gone? Um, my under eye, I'm going to use the dark purple and just kind of... Pack that on and then wiggle it a little bit. going to take the darker of the browns is this in, from insurgent or allegiant insurgent i'll show up I haven't watched that film in a while, I might have to watch that. Does anyone else love the Divergent series here? If you haven't watched it, go and watch all three. Divergent, Insurgent and then Allegiant. Bonus points if you've read the books as well. And if you cried at the last one like I did. Probably not the best thing to read when you're pregnant, stuck in hospital and hormonal. I'm going to do that pink shade. I started it and I was like, oh no, wait. It's a very pretty pink. waterline and I feel like I, I need something I do feel like it's missing something but I haven't really got any I've, I've got my purple Barry M but I feel like it's the wrong it's the wrong kind of purple I don't know maybe just one coat of this rather than the two to make it really kind of bright. Yeah, that works. That's fair. Just ties it together. I'm going to take my lovely, lovely new blinding Beauty Bay highlight and just do my brow bone highlight. Part of me is like do a like, tiny bit of it on the pink, but at the same time I don't want to. No, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. That is everything. 
so yeah that is final look guys um what do you think i love everything that i used i do think that that foundation was um listed wrong on revolutions website because i'm looking in my mirror and nowhere does it look like pink undertones to me that i can it doesn't look anywhere pink on my skin at all um yes it's a bit pale it'll be fine through the winter i will get a darker shade of it during the summer if need be um although i don't really think i'll probably be using it much during the summer months i'll probably use obviously more of a mattifying foundation if i'm wearing foundation at all uh this i love so this is two that i've tried so far love 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 really glad i used the glitter shade the glitter is i don't know if it's like a dewy dewy mm, duo chrome i'm looking i can see pink i can see blue see green it's like a trio chrome multi chrome i don't know um but it's beautiful the mattes perform beautifully the shimmers the glitter everything has performed beautifully beauty bay highlighter bronzer love eye heart revolution love that blusher was beautiful as well the lipsticks i'm going back and getting the rest of them everything that i have bought that i have used today i love it all and i'm so happy with all of it um so yeah, I would say my makeup haul was a win. I'm gonna try my eyes to clean tomorrow and clean my brushes because they do need it. Um, so yeah, very, very happy with how this has turned out. I need my hair down because it's annoying me. I, what else did I buy? I bought a massive can of my rose gold Batiste dry shampoo because I love it. And as far as I'm concerned, that is the best one. I bought uh, my Pureplex conditioner. If you haven't already, um, gone to my tiktok do so just to go and watch my review video thingy for the pureplex hair repair system that i did like near the beginning of lockdown that stuff incredible when i went for my post lockdown um hair appointment um i was dreading having to have like six inches cut off of my hair because obviously i have dyed it pink like a thousand times i have bleached it and all sorts and i thought john's auntie who is my hairdresser um was going to shout at me for not taking better care of my hair uh but she didn't um and when she was said to me like how have you only managed to get away with having the ends nibbled i was like possibly because i use this and she was like yeah that'll be it <laughs> so yeah pure flex hair repair system win um and i found that i did the shampoo and the conditioner that's in that set you can buy it separately um and 100 percent worth it get it from savers though it is cheaper that is me done for this video so yeah i hope you enjoyed it i'm really gonna look forward to playing especially with this palette i'm gonna look forward to doing more looks with this and trying out more colors but yeah i hope you enjoyed this look and yeah i will see you all in the next one Mwah.